Hi guys, it's Sam. Welcome back to my channel. And in today's video, I'm doing a video that I have been planning out for a while. Now, as you guys know, 2020 was not the year. And when I say it wasn't the year, I mean it wasn't the year for mostly everybody. But that doesn't mean that we can't start doing things now to make 2021 our most successful year yet. I came up with a bunch of ideas on what you should start doing now to have a successful 2021. And I've been trying these out myself. And from my experience, they are guaranteed to work. So I feel like right now, everyone is in that kind of mindset where 2020 was just such a bad year that 2021 has to be better and I'm here to tell you that it 100% can be so much better despite the circumstances of the world that is not me saying everything is going to magically go away once 2021 comes and once the ball drops but that is me saying that you have the power to control how your mind thinks and how you can actually use 2021 to make it your most successful year yet whether it be with YouTube social media a business whatever you may be trying to reach you are capable of doing it but I recommend you try out these 10 steps before 2021 comes so you set yourself up for a successful year from the beginning not starting right when 2021 actually begins so what are these tips well let's get into it and let me just tell you these tips will change your life. So starting a habit can take a little while, which is the reason why I'm posting this video so early. When you set a goal for yourself, you obviously know that it's not going to happen overnight. It's the same thing with habits. When you're trying to make a habit become something you do every day and part of your daily routine, it's going to take some time. In my personal experience, sometimes habits take me about seven days, sometimes it takes me 21 days, sometimes it takes me longer. But the most important thing is that you hold yourself accountable to doing these steps because they actually will help you become a more successful person and it really just has to do with who you are on the inside now when I say that you may be thinking is she serious I hear this all the time but it's honestly so true when you don't have self-love for yourself or self-worth or anything like that you are not going to be as successful as you could be literally just because of the main fact that you don't believe in yourself enough I can look at you through this camera and tell you that I believe in you 100% and no matter how much I mean that because I do mean it I believe in every single one of you it won't matter until you believe in yourself I can tell you I believe in you all I want but until you actually know your worth it will not matter so do I believe in every single one of you yes do I know you are all capable of being very successful yes but will these words actually matter until you learn to believe in yourself no or at least not to the full effect so Basically, what you need to do is learn how to find self-love. And when people say that, it's very confusing. What exactly does that mean? Well, these tips are going to help you. And these tips are actually tips I used throughout 2020 and 2019 and have literally significantly changed my life. So let's get into tip number one. So tip number one is to know yourself and to be there for you. What does this mean? This literally means exactly what it sounds like. Basically, what this means is if you want to achieve your goals and if you want to be successful, successful, you need to know how your mind works. You can wake up every morning and tell yourself that today is going to be a good day, but at the end of the day, if your mind is thinking differently about it, it will not be a good day based off of the main fact that your mind doesn't believe your words. Our mind is literally a magnet. What we think, we attract. And if you can't think in your mind that you're actually capable of doing what you want to do, you're going to be the reason why you're facing defeat. You need to be able to look at yourself in the mirror and remember that even though you you may not have the thing that you want in the palm of your hands at the minute that does not mean it's not coming to you that literally just means you need to work for it like I said in the beginning nothing is going to come to you overnight literally nothing everything that is a goal is meant to be earned and meant to be worked for if you put in the work it will come for you but you need to know who you are it all circles around who you are what you want and how much you believe in yourself. If you can't look at yourself in the mirror and think to yourself, who am I? You're not going to be able to look at yourself in the mirror five seconds later and say, you know what, I am capable of this because if you don't know who you truly are and how your mind works, it's just not going to work at the end of the day. So that is tip number one and that is the most probably important tip of this video is to understand who you are and how your mind actually works. The next tip I have is to focus on joy. Now what I mean by this is to focus on the happy things in your life. For example, right now it's the holiday season and no matter what holiday you may celebrate, 
all the holidays are slowly approaching and what you can do is focus on the holidays focus on things that bring you joy what this basically does is reminds us that even though there might be negative things going on in the world like everything that's been going on for the past almost year you can easily switch the way your mind thinks so if you choose to think of something positive and associate it with joy it is going to make your mind attract that positivity allowing you to better find yourself and push you to reach your goals basically what i'm saying is when you focus on good you attract good when you focus on negative you attract negative that is not me saying you can never have a bad day that is not me saying to just block out everything if you're feeling upset that's just me saying know how to shift your mind if you think of something and it reminds you of negativity try to block it out for a little bit and then come back and reassess it and try and understand why it's making you think of something negative when you do that it will better alter your mind to actually say okay hey this wasn't that bad I was just anxious or I was just stressed or hey this is a real problem I need to work on it if that makes sense so when you associate joy with positivity and the holidays with positivity and focus on positivity more positive things will come your way the next tip that I have for you guys is to show up for yourself and to hold yourself accountable now people say it all the time hold yourself accountable for your goals hold yourself accountable for things that you say you are going to do basically if you say you're going to do something show up whether it be I want to be a better person or I want to go to the gym four times a week whatever it may be you just need to show up if you don't show up you'll never get closer to your goal so when you hold yourself accountable and you show up for yourself you're allowing yourself to give yourself that chance at actually achieving your goal and that is what is going to make you think oh my gosh, maybe I do have what it takes. And as you continue to see and feel that you do have what it takes, and as long as you don't give up, you will get there. The next tip that I have is to learn something new every single day. I don't know if you guys know this, you probably do, but the mind is always learning new information. Now, it may be information that you've heard before that you just forgot, or it may be something you never even knew. If you allow yourself to learn new information, it can actually help you become so much more successful. It's kind of like reading a book. When you read a book that is very interesting, informational or inspirational or motivational after finishing the book it leaves you inspired and it leaves you wanting to know more so if you can allow yourself to learn at least one new thing a day it may actually help you achieve your goals faster and it may allow you to see a bigger picture of everything that you want in your future the next tip I have is to surround yourself around those that care now when I say this it's something that's so important and it kind of goes back to what I was saying before when you surround yourself with positive people you are going to attract positive vibes when you know that people care about you you are going to feel very welcomed and everything like that when you don't know if people care about you you are going to get negative vibes you're going to feel bad about yourself you're going to feel not included and everything like that the most important thing you need to do for yourself is to know who you want to surround yourself around when your vibes are high and your vibrations are high it's going to attract positive things this simply means what it sounds like if there are people in your life that are tearing you down I'm not saying cut them out I'm just saying know when to be around them if you are trying to work for something you need to do what's best for you and at the end of the day if the people that you are surrounding yourself are bringing you down maybe you need to have a talk with them or just know when you can hang out with them and everything like that and then if there are people who are bringing your vibes up and making you happy then maybe when you're sad or when you're feeling not the best you can go hang out with them because they are known in your mind to make you feel happy kind of altering the way you think and then making you go back into that happy state and again reassessing the situation on why you were upset at a different time when you're not as upset about the topic. The next tip I have is to focus on the big picture. Now I'm going to use a social media influencer for example. If you are someone who is just starting out on social media you may be seeing that your picture on Instagram doesn't get as many likes or your blog post doesn't get as many views or clicks or whatever it may be and that can be very discouraging even here on YouTube. If you are someone who's just starting out as a new YouTuber and you don't really know what you're doing at first or even if you do know what you're doing and you're just not seeing the results that you want to see, that doesn't mean that they won't come. You need to keep going. You need to hold yourself accountable. You need to be able to shift your mind and show yourself the bigger picture. And what I mean by the bigger picture is visualize what you want that bigger picture to look like. That may be you living in LA in a couple years with your favorite influencers and now they're your best friends or it 
may be you actually starting a small business, whatever it may be, if you focus on the bigger picture and keep positivity, even if your Instagram post isn't getting as many likes as you want it to, or even if your blog post or website or business isn't getting that engagement you want it to overnight, it doesn't mean it won't. And you just have to remind yourself about that. And I know that that's hard. And this relates to anything, whatever your goal may be. If you think about the bigger picture, you are focusing on that instead of the view. And when you don't focus on the view, you're focusing on something that you love. And when you focus on something you love, positivity raises up and vibrations are higher and things will come to you and attract you at a higher level because you are being positive about what you are trying to attract. The next tip is kind of going off of all of this self-love and everything like that, but it is to learn how to shift gears in your mind. When I wake up in the morning, I am usually at my highest positive vibes. That is because everything Everything is very calm I'm in a calm state and everything like that usually that does not mean all the time that just means usually so what I like to do is I like to meditate or listen to calming music and just tell myself that today is going to be a good day when you do that you are putting it into the universe and in order to kind of know how to shift gears in your mind you need to know what makes you upset and what makes you happy so for example if you don't like snow and you just heard that a huge snowstorm is coming and you get really upset about it, you need to be able to shift gears in your mind and tell yourself, you know what, I'm not happy about this, but it's okay. Instead of going out to go to work today, I'm going to use today to have a self-care day. This will allow you to kind of like rethink everything that you were questioning and it will allow you to be more positive. Now, obviously that was just a general example. I do mean this in a more exactly to what you are trying to achieve type of way. But because I don't know what your exact goal is, that is just the example that I chose to use. So hopefully you guys understand that. The next tip that I have is to write out your goals and to make to-do lists. When you write things out, it is actually more proven to come true because you are holding yourself accountable. What I mean by this is if you make a to-do list or if you just simply write out your goals, when you write things out on paper, you are more likely to actually achieve them because when you write things out, you actually hold yourself to what you wrote down on that paper. So something I did this year, thanks to Lauren Doan, was actually start a to-do list. So every day or every other day that I had school or whatever it may be, I would write a to-do list and I would check off everything as I went. And as I do that, I feel very accomplished, making my positivity rise, making my happiness rise, and making me just in a very happy state. The next tip I have is to go in nature and embrace nature and kind of adventure. If you are someone who doesn't know exactly who you are or someone who loves looking at sunsets or sunrises or oceans or whatever it may be, this is again something that can shift your mind into a more positive state. When you see something that makes you happy, you're automatically just going to be in a place that you love and that is something so important when you are trying to find self-love because self-love is all about knowing who you are being your true self and loving yourself and being happy. Now again, I don't mean you have to be happy all the time. That is extremely hard and I don't think that is necessarily healthy because you are allowed to feel emotions. I'm just saying you want to know who you are and be happy enough where you can be sad but also still work towards your goals. The last tip that is probably so, so important, I think like all of these are probably equally important but this one is so important, do not question yourself. The minute you question yourself is the minute you need to start over. Think of it as, I came all this way. I am not going to question myself now. I promise the minute you question yourself, everything that you work towards is going to be altered by the simple idea of you questioning yourself. Whether it be, am I good enough for this? Can I actually achieve this? Do I have what it takes? Whatever it is, the answer is yes. I am good enough for this. I do have what it takes and I am going to achieve it. And you know what? When you put it into the universe and when you actually believe it, it becomes true. But with all that being said, if you guys liked the video, please be sure to let me know down below. I might make this into a little series on my channel because I have so much more to say. So if you liked it, please be sure to let me know because I would love to help you guys more. With all that being said, comment down below your favorite tip that I had for you guys today because I'm curious. And if you actually try this out, let me know how you 
you think it is going. I do recommend trying this before the new year just so you can go into the new year completely like refreshed and everything with the way you think and the way you know yourself and everything like that. These are just my tips and based off of my personal experience. For my experience, they have worked so I wanted to share them with you because I do hope that they work for you. With all that being said, if you guys liked it, be sure to give it a huge thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you want to and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye!